Hello, brother. My name is Shola Adiaga. I am so sorry but the but the error that you saw in the uh, last um, episode of The Prime Suspect. That wasn't the way this was made. I don't know what happened with uh, YouTube mechanism. I don't know what happened. And uh, I tried. I reloaded it again. You could see that on the channel that I actually did. But the same problem still happened on the audio. So that's why I want to quickly release the full version right now, earlier than the date uh, I had in mind. Because when I saw it, I felt really bad about it. I don't mean to uh, just dish out that kind of thing. I'm so sorry. It's a problem from YouTube. And you can see here, this is where we... Uh, where we mix everything up. This is it, you can see. Yeah. That's the studio, that's where we mix it up to uh, bring it live out right now. But I'm releasing the full version now. So like I said, I am so sorry. That wasn't what we put out. That's what YouTube, uh, that's a problem from YouTube. Let me just put it that way. Okay, thanks so much for following up. Keep it up and uh, help us to share this, let it all see it. And please subscribe if you're yet to do so. And if you've done so, proclaim the gospel. Thank you for your time. Follow me do for go today. If you try me again, eh? Oh, I will make you know. You do phone. Why you phone boo now? Why phone? I see they go ten rounds. That two rounds this guy. Two rounds. You they smoke two rounds or score you they fall? Ah, eh eh. But see, sha. Baba no vex. Ah ah. Sha no vex. Ah. Oh my. Me. Ah ah. Oh, well, we got one them up. I think that's what they want. Hmm? Guys, we have a 15 minute assignment. Eh? We'll be back now, okay? Hey, you won't go catch it. Who tell you, say they never get some? <laughs> yeah, we just saw this in Bhutan. Don't mind them. We just like to know you. Leave us alone. We are not interested in knowing you. Ah, uh, Abba. Stop acting like babies. We mean no harm, because don't you know us? We attend the same university over there. University. We're in a hurry. Maybe, maybe, maybe some other time. Hey, you leave us with no other choice than to know you by force. <laughs> They want to rape us and shut up! Shut your dirty mouth up. Or I shut it for you. Then who else should be raped? With no people like you. Then where are you heading to now? Our rooms. And where is your room? It's, it's nearby, sir. Useless ladies. Go and let me see you.
Henny. Big brother. What's up? High school. Henny. Wait. How many times have I warned you not to raise the volume of a TV set as loud as this? At least you have allowed me to greet you first. Come on, Henny. Oh, you're not the only one in this uh, neighborhood. Come on, come on, come on. How are you? I'm fine, mom. <sighs> Ah, uh, mommy, I was just watching a particular program. Yeah, yeah. Seriously, mom, it's becoming too much of her. every time she just raise the volume of the TV, say as if you're the only one in this neighborhood. It's unfair. Oh, you are really in the spirit. Yes, thank you. Please do just that. I'm really, really famished. Thank you. So, come and eat the food that is made by the greatest and best cook of the world, any Brown. That's the greatest and best cook in the world, any Brown. I hope it's not like the other one you prepared the other day that sent everybody to the, to the toilet. Seriously, mom, did you hear him? And, and the... But you shouldn't have brought up a dead issue of about eight months ago. It was just a joke. I was only joking. That was an expensive joke. Now I apologize to her. Second mommy of the house, I am sorry. Is that okay now? Yeah. I think your dad is here. Okay, excuse me then. Oh, Dad? Ah, cool. <laughs> How are you? I'm fine. Uh -huh. You come in. Just not quite long. That's all right. That's okay, sir. Ah. <laughs> Welcome, dear. Oh, thanks, dear. Hey. <laughs> Welcome. How was your day? Oh, it's been hectic, but hey. I managed. Hey. Huh? Uh, thank God. Henny, how are you? Hey. Good, good. Welcome, hmm. Dad. Hmm, Kola, how are you? I'm fine. Uh, well, I hope you are not home for money again. Oh, God. Why is everybody talking about this issue? Mommy said the same thing. Oh, well, that's your mission every time we see you. We cannot continue pulling our arms. Guys! Guys! Are we going to take this humiliation this way? That will be back time. Ha Mr. Taylor. That Mr. Taylor has fulfilled his threat against us. Guys, are we not going to fulfill ours against him? Well, though, sending us out of school <laughs> doesn't mean sending us out of this world. The three years we have spent at this university will be a waste. Mr. Taylor, that big headed man, has tampered with our education. Y yes. Come on. We have no other choice than to terminate his life. But <laughs> right now, I suggest, guys, that we eliminate him in the presence of your school. You are right. <laughs> and leave this mm. school in a remarkable way. You are very right. Yes. I suggest that we terminate him <laughs> in front of the class. Mm? Yes. In the very presence of Tina, your girl. Oh, Mo, that is the coco. That is the Yeah? I'm set. take this money. Since your daddy said he doesn't have money at home, he will refund it in the evening. The money belongs to Mrs. Johnson. She gave it to me to give my man for the clothes we bought from her. Take now. Anything they matter? Kola. Ah. Um, no. Take the money. I would rather wait for daddy's check. Mrs. Johnson will come for her money very soon. What do you mean? Your daddy doesn't have cash at all. He will be found it in the evening when he comes. Mom, let me, let me just wait for daddy's check. She will come to get her money very soon. Who, who is there? It's me, or Mrs. Johnson. Ah. 
Good morning, sir. Good morning, madam. Sorry for bothering you this early morning, sir. Oh, that's okay. How are you and your husband? We thank God, sir. Fine. Yeah. Yeah. It's you I've come to see. Pius called me this morning that his wife was rushed to the hospital. <sighs> Were you aware of my coming this morning? No. But, but yes. Anyway. <sighs> Pius called me this morning. He said his wife was rushed to the hospital. And he has to go to his office to report for the morning shift. And you know I cannot go to the hospital without having anything on me. That is the reason why I'm here. Thank God you have not even handed over the money to the woman. I'll be going. But you said you are not aware of my coming this morning. Well, thank you. Will you join me at the hospital? Is it that your family hospital? Yes. Okay, I will join you. I'll be expecting you. Bye, Daddy. Oh, thank you, Madam. Call her, thank you. Any love? Thank you. Bye. Call her. Yes, How did you know Mrs. Johnson was coming this morning? I guess that was coincidence. That was no coincidence. Kola, did you see that woman coming through the window? Not at all, sir. It was just an assumption. That wasn't an assumption. You were so sure what you were saying. My dear, I offered him money. He refused. Saying Mrs. Johnson was coming for it this morning. He had barely finished speaking when she knocked at the door. Well, I heard everything. I'm sure of what I'm saying. Well, really, it's like uh, everyone doesn't have a better thing to discuss today, other than Mrs. Johnson. Well, in any case, any, I want straight A's, right? Right. Good. <laughs> Bro, Dad, your son has suddenly turned to a <laughs> <laughs> Look, let him be. No, no, bro, bro, Kala, when are you going to start your church? Because I won't get away. I can't wait to be your hey, first hey, member. You need to see the pastor for guidance. Pastor? Uh, well, Kola, come over for the check. And that's exactly what the document in our hand shows. Your Excellency, sir. Uh, we wouldn't want to waste much of your time today. No. Everyone knows that sports is the only one thing that can bring nations together. That's, yeah, that's true. And even pull it apart. The report from this committee shows that all the geopolitical zones are working in harmony to do a perfect job. Nothing makes me happier. You should all be congratulated. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The sports minister have mentioned it, and I want to say it again. This administration strives for transparency. We will not accept corrupt practices in any form and anyone caught will be seriously death with. The project is built to finish in two years. Yes, Your Excellency, sir. That means the stadium will be ready for use before the next election? Most definitely, sir. We must make it happen. So the Southwest has agreed 
on siting their own stadium in Yata, Akaba State. Oh, that's right, Mr. President, sir. Hmm. Senator Johnson? Uh, Your Excellency, sir. Ijata is not far from your hometown. That is true, sir. <laughs> You're right, Mr. President. <laughs> uh, Ijata is a fantastic choice. Thank you, sir. Uh, a gateway town for that matter. What are you talking about? You go still with the guy. He has lent his Eh, yeah, yeah, they Jack it. Ah. Civil civil. No time. Go see I was preparing to come to school. My mom was about giving me money for school runs, you know. You no, know, I wanted to collect the money, you know, and I told her almost immediately that the owner of the money is coming for the money. I barely <laughs> finished my statement. We had a knock on our door. And the woman that gave the money to my mom to keep for her came for the money. Wow. It's so strange. As in, I don't understand. I don't uh, understand. Well, that's a nice one. So close. Then, why are you bothered? Hey, uh, ah, Shege. What's up, Shege? How are you doing now? Shege. Oh, no. That's everything. Then, well, I don't expect you to worry yourself about this. See, you're not getting it. Anyway, I am just surprised by the power of this so-called gift. But why me? Me, Kola? <laughs> why not our fellowship president? Or that girl in our class that look like an angel? I mean, Ifoma. Well, all I know is that God is no fools. We are late for the class. Long from Africa. Learn from Africa for now, because there is no company in Africa who can handle such a massive uh, project. You don't believe in Africa, do you? I do. But there is no company in Africa that will give us the quality we are looking for. I don't know how else to convince him. Convince him about what? That I'm no longer a child, you know? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Who told you you are no longer a child? Oh, At least your dad, you always be. Come on. You understand what I mean? <laughs> you should. Mm -hmm. That you are old enough to look after yourself? I'm sure he knows that. And you know you are the only girl in that family. You know daddies and their only daughters. They tend to overprotect them even to their matrimonial home. I know, right? But then again, does that mean I wouldn't have any freedom at all? Do you believe that our two elder brothers had their masters in the UK? Wow. But when it comes to daddy's girl, she has to be by his side all the time. I wonder. But then, this, this has got me thinking, if my dad is this burdened simply because I'm traveling, okay, for what, barely two years for my masters, what will now happen when I get married? <laughs> Maybe if he knows that someone like me, I mean, a responsible man like me, is also pursuing my masters in the same school, Maybe it will change his mind. I mean, I really want to further my education. After all, those who are in charge of money are the real master's holders. So, uh, I need to get all the qualifications in this world to do that. No, no, no. Don't let me discourage you. Oh, okay. Trust me, you can't discourage me. Mm. Firstly, I'm old enough to make my own decisions. Secondly, I'm a first class graduate. I mean, first class with my own brains, you know. Thank you. Thirdly, my mind is made up. And just like my father, I can be very stubborn. Once my mind is made up on something, I follow through on it. I mean, that's how he became the president, you know, because he feels he has what it takes to direct the nation. And me, on my own part, I will make sure he sees things my way. <laughs> because... You see, that is my girl. The exact type of a woman I expect you to be. Mm. Keep it up. I'm sure we are going to make a very good team. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I, I'm just, I'm, I'm thinking actually, what's, how will my dad take it when I finally introduce my fiance to him? Like, <laughs> oh boy. Does that need any introduction? 
Do you know who I'm talking about? Come on, don't be funny. You're talking about me, of course. And your dad knows you deserve a very good man. A man that will take care of you and protect you. And that is me, Ralph. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're right about one thing, though. My dad will definitely want someone who can take care of me and protect me. But I've told you times without number. You and I, we can't walk. I mean, we are totally different. Like, <laughs> please. What's the meaning of that? Well, it means that you are not my type. I mean, I don't love you. Like, I, in fact, I don't. Why are you so arrogant and stubborn? What? Why are you just insulting me like this? How dare you? Ralph, come on, take it easy. You're talking to a lady, you know. You shut up your mouth, you fool. What? What's your opinion in this matter? How dare you? Can you hear yourself at all? How dare you raise your voice at me? In my own father's house. I mean, Oluchi, can you see why I said, this guy is not my type. What did I don't want to hear that again from you. What? If I'm not your type, then who is? Oh my God, my God. Cherish, please tell this thing. What? Not to insult me. And as for you, Ralph, the lady says you are not her type. Is that too difficult to comprehend? Oluchi, is something wrong with your head? Tell what? me about it. In fact, how did you manage to get into this place? How dare you? How dare you raise your voice at me and my guest in my own father's house? Ralph, are you okay? What is wrong with you? For God's sake. Will you get back on my friend? Oh, are you okay? When I talk, you listen. Shut the hell up! For crying out loud, this is my father's house. How dare you speak to me like that? Apex Construction Company is very, very, very good. They've been in business for the past four decades. Yeah, and they've done several jobs. Hmm. What are the projects they've handled before? They constructed the Marcel and the Olympic Lyon. And I took time to visit the studio while I was in Marcel, and it was beautiful. In Impeccable facilities. Yeah, you're right. No, Marcel, Marcel is my club. And I've been at the stadium for a long time. And, and uh, Your Excellency, uh, Apex, 
takes the deal. Well, um, gentlemen, I hope as we plan and work for the realization of the projects, uh, the issue of electricity is not left behind. Because any government that will make any positive impact must solve electricity problem, which we must achieve. Right. Definitely, definitely, definitely. You're right, that's right. Sorry, good afternoon, sir. <laughs> I need to borrow my dad for a few minutes. <laughs> All right, sir. Okay, so, Daddy, please, you know, I have a flight to catch for 4 p.m. Let's go prepare. Ah, I do get me. Isn't it obvious I don't want you to go? Yet you feel as if you are there already. Ah, uh -uh, it's not like that, no. I'm, I'm not sure you will miss me. Oh, Daddy, you know I'm going to miss you. Please help me out oh, here. No, 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 Jerish. You know your father is a deadly person. He's getting old and you have to be very soft on him. Yeah? <laughs> Come on. He, he does not just want you to leave like that. Guys, all plans remain the same. Kazi has gone to survey the ground for us. Let's do this. Then I'll bring the car for escape route. All is the rest. Picture us forever. forever. Yeah. <clears throat> Good afternoon, class. Good afternoon, sir. All right. Um. <clears throat> today, <Yeah>. to um. <laughs> We are going over to a new topic entirely. Non-verbal communication. What did I just say? Non-verbal communication. Come again? Non-verbal communication. Now when you talk about non-verbal communication, Yes. Oh. Um. You, came your local. Sir, nah, I don't hoe you, sir. I have not said you're hoeing me. Come. Now, I need you to read out the names of the death laws, okay? All right, sir. Now, listen to me. As soon as you hear your name read out from this lift, either give to her. The money you are hoeing me for the hand out, or you simply walk out of this class. Is that taken? Yes, yes sir. sir. Sunday call. Bukola Duregos. Kofuna Yoro Charles. Grand Cola. <laughs> Man. Why are you not standing? Didn't you hear your name? You mean me, sir? Yes! No, sir. Oh, you didn't hear your name? Call it again. Brown Cola. <laughs> <laughs> now, have you heard your name? I am sorry, sir. I am not Brown Cola. My name is Cola Brown. <laughs> now, whether your name is Cola Brown or Brown Cola, I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. All I care about is my money. Give my money to her immediately. I just have to go home now. I'm feeling cold. I need to go. 
Okay, uh, where, Kola, I think you're still in shock. So just let me get you some drugs. Okay. Let me get you some drugs so that you relax. Steve, you, 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 you don't get it. It's not a matter of drugs. I just have to go home now. I mean, I, let me just go, please. Please. Okay. Uh, wait. Let me go straight to uh, get our books. And I'll go and drop you, okay? Just wait. Let me go and drop you. <laughs> Steve, let me go, please. Let me go. Please, is this Mr. Brown's apartment? Yes. Who do you want to see? We are policemen from the school. Okay. Wait. Who is there? Policeman? I want to open the door. Do you want to see Brother? Go and call him for me. Kola, tell me what's going on. Policeman really? outside looking for you. For me? Yes. From where? Since we came back to this house, you refused to eat. When you said you would talk to me later. Tell me what is going on. Mom, I said there is nothing wrong. I didn't do anything wrong. And in fact, I don't have any problem with anybody. Are you sure? By the way, where are they from? They're from your school. School? Man. Then if they are from school, let them come in. I have nothing. Kola, tell me. Talk to, do to with me. Kola, are you sure? Let them be. Don't you trust your son again? I trust you. Kola. Mom. You are, you are sure? I don't have any problem with anybody. Have you something? Good evening, sir. Good evening, madam. Please come in. Um, I had you asking of my son. Yes, ma'am. Hope there is no problem. There is nothing of matter. Rather, Please come in. your son did a commendable act. Please come in, please. Thank you. Please, gentlemen, sit down. Thank you. The school authority and the police wants to say thank you to him for supplying us the information that actually led to the capture of some courtists in the school. Hmm. So you mean my son actually helped you to arrest courtists? Not only that, mother. He saved the life of one of the lecturers in the school. And that is why the school authority wants to see him and reward him. Similarly, the police department also needs to show him some gratitude. So are you going with him now? Certainly, madam. In fact, the management can't wait to see him. So you mean the school authorities are waiting for my son? Yes. Wow. This police department too is waiting for my son. Oh, I told you. I, told you I, didn't, I did not do anything wrong. I think your mind should not be at peace. Mom, since I will have to go with them, please, can I quickly pick something upstairs and we can go? Okay. By the time I'm back, we'll talk more. Excuse me. You see, Kola, if not that I have seen you with some of this your clairvoyance gifts that you've been displaying. I wouldn't have believed what you said that time. But man, that's a painful thing. It's somehow unbelievable that such will happen. Good day, gentlemen. Ah, you're welcome, sir. You're welcome. 
Uh, you are not looking too good. I, I hope there is no problem. What's the matter, sir? This is a time for celebration. Also, we have completed all the stadiums. What is left is just the commissioning. That is the problem. Problem? How? This. Okay, thank you, sir. Take a look at this. I wonder why someone would want to rubbish our government, especially now that we are vying for the second term, both internationally and uh, internally. I mean, I don't. Oh, your excellency, sir. Yes. It's not cause for alarm. You don't have to bother yourself, sir. You know, no matter what we do, whether good or bad, people will still complain. From what I've read here, they are making comparisons with a project that was completed uh, 10 years ago. And this is a project that has just been completed. The exchange rate is, is, is not the same. What happened 10 years ago is completely different from what is happening now. We know how much uh, our, the exchange rate is saying. And uh, when you look at uh, the comparisons, a lot of things has happened in the span of 10 years, sir. Our opponents are just looking for ways to bring our government down. And they cannot succeed. We are on course and we are in line. All we need to do is just to go ahead and uh, do what we want to do. And that is the commissioning. Let me look at you. Let me uh, look at the second paragraph. This is where the analysis uh, were made. This is from a political opponent. Yes! It's from a political opponent. So this is too much. They presented facts and figures. And you know how people are no fools. Look at it. The money we claim to have spent on each of the stadium is enough to build three better stadia. Excellency, I don't think you should bother yourself with this. Yeah. There's nothing to lose sleep on. Rubbish. Yeah. Anyway, I have sent information to the United States for private investigators to see to this matter. Yeah. And if the allegations are justified, yes, sir. anyone found guilty of this will have all his properties confiscated. You are another, sir. That's okay, sir. That's fine, sir. Hello, Cherish baby. Yeah, how are you? I learned you'll be coming in in two weeks' time. You mean you still don't know who is speaking? <laughs> all right, all right. It's me, Ralph. So I... Hello? Hello? What? You have the guts to hang up on me? Ha! What nonsense! Damn! I hope there is no problem. Will you leave this place? Sorry. 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 Is it because she is beautiful? Hey! I am going to deal with them one after the other. Me, Ralph, I will deal with them. What? what? I can't just imagine. We may not venture into this business again for her, Ivan. I'm talking about a deal that is worth more than five million dollars. Oh, what? what? Five million dollars? Wow! What a great deal! Money. I'm sorry if I may ask, who could be that costly? <laughs> Mr. President. Our own president? Yes, the president. Uh, come. So the fact that you are now working with a senator doesn't give you the audacity to talk to the president anyhow. So your kids will not be like that of that guy in the Indian film. My name is Khan and I'm not a terrorist. What the See, I have my questions piled up already. I have a lot of questions to ask him. Now we know about the three stadia that was built. And now we're hearing that they built three stadia with a lot of money, a lot of cash. 
And we're hearing now that the money they used in building those three stadia can actually build 15 stadia. 15? I mean, where did all the money go? And that's exactly what I'm talking about. The Mr. President is a transparent man. Mm -hmm. He said it some, some days ago. He said he's ready to bring the perpetrators to justice. <laughs> and that is what the man is going to do. Let's not yeah. forget that we're talking about the same country that we all know. No, 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 no. Forget that. Truly, we have so many presidents in the past that will say this and they will not do it. But this one is transparent. that in Jesus' name. Oh, I've never been involved in any car accident. That's not my passion. I'm sorry for giving you my time. According to the facts we have, we have come to the conclusion that there has been a, an embezzlement of funds between those in charge of the project and the company that implemented that project. We are also aware of the fact that only about 28.6% of the whole amount was spent to implement that project. What? You mean more than 70% of that money was actually swallowed by greedy men? Maybe women are even involved? Thank you very much. Uh, when are you going to conclude your investigation? Because this money will have to be returned to the government. Well, presently, three of our agents are already uh, gotten in touch with the chairman of the company uh, with a warrant uh, to collect the account review of the project. And within a week, you will be able to come up with the facts and figures concerning those involved. Thank you very much. I want to take my leave now. I promise to pay a condolence visit to the Aramoshe people whose land was affected by flood. I want to make my intention known that anyone involved will be severely punished. All eyes are on this administration to see how we are going to deal with this act. And we cannot afford to tarnish the image we are trying to build. And be rest assured, no perpetrator will go unpunished. Um, Mr. President, sir, can I speak with you in private? From our investigations, it's so obvious that the Vice President is the prime suspect. So I would advise that you make sure he doesn't travel out of the country until we conclude our investigations. Your Excellency, sir, I'm so sorry I came late. It wasn't intentional. Yeah. And I hope you got my test message. Yeah. Oh. And how far was the meeting? Fine. Bomb! Yes. Sir, I saw a bomb explosion just now. Yes, I, I saw it. Yes, I saw it. Bomb! Yes, I saw it. I saw it. I saw it. I don't understand. 
I'm sorry, I'm sorry, sir. I'm sorry, sir. I'm sorry, sir. I don't understand. One of the ladies was asking me the other time how was my night. And uh, guess what I told her? You don't want to know. Because it was all about babes, wine, fun. It was the whole long night. I wish it never ended. I've told you several times, give your life to Christ. All right, sir, I've had you, okay? If you don't want the discussion, so let's drop it. God forgive. Hello, Mr. President. I got your private number from one of your fathers in politics. In the next five minutes, consider yourself dead. Except you can plead for your life now. What? You are very stupid, Mr. President. Captain, I think we have low oil pressure on the engine too. You are so stubborn. Your stubbornness has taken you this far. And it will end your life today. And the the third has moved from eighty dropped from eighty to, to twenty. We lost it. But this air, this aircraft is equipped with an escape pod specially made for Mr. President in the case of emergency. What about me, Captain? What about you? Captain Tension in Iraq is still rising as protesters have taken to the streets for the third day in a row. Police seem less active in curbing the protesters' actions than they have been in the past. Sorry, it's breaking news coming in. The president of the United Africa Republic has been pronounced dead. President Adebowale was assassinated while airborne on a condolence visit to the recent flood victims. There's a prime suspect, a journalist by the name of Cola Brown, who was said to have projected the assassination earlier today. Stay tuned for more details. Oh, Oguya boy! Okay, 
Yes, I have seen it. But Kola was only there to cover the event. Kola has a scene. Oh, I, I must. I, I think there must be an explanation for this. I've been trying to get through, through to my friend who is in the special force, but I don't know what is happening. I don't know. I just don't know what is going on. Dear God. Mm. Behold your daughter. Mm. Uh. Oh. Daddy. Yes. What a good killer you must be. <laughs> Cheers, God. Well done. <laughs> Take 
here was a man who served you with integrity. Did I say you? Oh, I'm sorry. Who served this nation with integrity. An honest man. His major drive was to lead this nation in the right direction. And what did you do? You watched them kill him. What do you want my mom to do? What do you expect my brothers to do? What do you expect Dira, who is sick, to do? I mean, how do I tell him that he no longer has a father to look up to? No thanks to you, you know. Thank you for the public disgrace and shame. And his political enemies. So they'll be having their last laugh now, huh? While you watch. <laughs> Cheers once again. Start the joke or something, Cherish doesn't smoke. Or what are you trying to say? She sent me to go and buy it. Without the knowledge of any of the security men. She has not been allowed access to anything harmful because of the situation of things. Cherish. Excuse me, let me see. yourself. <coughs> ah! Look at your room in a mess. Mm -hmm. God. What's all this? Mm. Why are you doing this to yourself, Cherish? yourself. Take a look at me. Just look at me. I came home expecting to see my dad, not to meet this kind of horror. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. You have to pull yourself together. Ah, okay. Dad. So he has gone just like that. Oh, come on. Come on, you have to pull yourself together, okay? You know your mother is arriving today. What do you want her to do if she sees you like this? 
Okay, now that you have resolved into drinking, what should she do when she comes? She should die, eh? And even your brothers, what, what do you want them to do? I'm going to report this your drama. What drama? You can't understand. He was not just my father. My father. That man was my best, best friend. It's okay. Best friend. It's all right. It's all right. Look, I'm here for you. All right. I know it's painful, but what shall we do? You see, I'm sure of what's myself. Because I may not know what it means to lose a father, especially in a most traumatic way as yours. But I do know that smoking and drinking your heart out of deviance to God will do no good. Anyway, only God understands why things like this happen. You know, I saw him just a few minutes before the tragedy. Why are you just showing up? Why are you just coming? I was here several times, but the security men said no one is to see you for some security reasons. I was so lucky to see Dipo and Tony at the gate and they told them to open the gate for me. I'm sure they didn't see you like this. Because I'm sure they wouldn't have been able to travel if they did. <sighs> Cherish, see, see what you've done to yourself. Don't mind. Don't mind those stupid bastards. They were here because my father was alive. Now that now that they've killed him, they should just go. Go. I don't need them anymore. I don't need them. That's it's okay. It's, it's okay. It's okay. We'll talk about mm. that later. Mm. We'll talk about that later. I I heard that the prime suspect has been released. They said he's anyway. Let me help you to a more relaxed position. Mm -hmm. oh, cherish. Oh. Good morning. Can someone please attend to me? Good. Um, young man, how can I be of help? I need to see my friends. Um, so how did you get in here? The receptionist directed me here. Receptionist. What's yes. wrong with that game? Okay, that's by the way. Um, so what are you doing here? I need to see my friend. Who's your friend? Uh, Kola. Kola. Who is Kola? Kola Brown. Kola Brown? What? You mean the Kola Brown that is our prime suspect? What's going on here? Uh, this young man is here to see Color Brown, and I'm trying to find out some 
some stuff from him. Um, is that why you are all staring at him? Is it not for someone to come and take on his friend? Come on, go back to your work. Uh, no, sir. No, sir. I really know him very well and I trust him. He doesn't do anything without my knowledge. Now you are talking. A man is not worthy to be called a man, except he can stand and defend his action. And how did your, or let me put it this way, what led your friend into this mess? I don't know, sir, but I'm sure he's not involved in the assassination of the president. Then who are the people involved? I, I don't know, sir, but... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Go on. Sir, I want to believe that he must have seen a vision. What do you mean by a vision? Sir, he said the life of a lecturer who was about to be assassinated back in our school days. The record is still dirty date in our school. I want to believe that God must have revealed this incident to him. Uh, Steve, are you telling me that it was a vision that made him predict the bomb blast against the president? Yes, sir. I believe God must have revealed that vision to him. But if anyone had listened to him then, maybe this wouldn't have happened. <laughs> well, no problem. I just hope that it is as you and his family said it is. That he has the ability of seeing vision. We'll get to the bottom of this soon. And your friend will be free. In the meantime, you see your friend. But you need to drop all keys, handsets, and every other metal object in your possession. You know, your friend is now a government property. And he must not fall sick. He mustn't die. Neither must he try to escape. I'm the only one that has a key to the place where he is. So that nothing happens to him before he appears in court. Well, sir, um, that is all. That, that's all I have on me. Good. Please send Tadi and Negi here immediately. Thank you. Tadi. Take this key and take this man to where Kola Brand is. Negi. Yes, sir. Take this phone and bug it. You have five minutes to do that. Okay, sir. It's okay, man. Kola. The God was. The Lord God, who has brought us into this, we see us through. My dad said it's beyond him. He even want me not to come close to you. Oh my God. Kola, it's okay. It's okay. We're in this together. No matter what. It's okay. Now, Kola. Please tell me what happened. Steve, I only saw a vision of the one last And I tried to stop the president. The only help we need is for God to reveal to us who those people are. With that, we can prove your innocence to the SSS. Who? I mean, those assassins, those who murdered the president. Has God revealed that person to you yet? Steve. That is another problem. That is another problem here. I didn't ask God to reveal the bubble blast to me, but He did. And now that I'm into this problem, can't He just help me by, by revealing these people to me and, and save me from this mess? Can't He? <laughs> it's okay. Now, are you saying, can't you just close your eyes now and see it? Vision is not like that. It's a gift. You can only see what the owner of the gift wants you to see, not what you want to see. You mean 
You can't see anything anymore? No, that is not what I mean. In fact, the gift has grown better than before. But I see things different from what I'm supposed to see. Right now, I can see the SSS boss with two other male officers in another room. And another lady just joining them. Sir, Negi said she has connected the phone. Wait on the table. How, How did you do that? How was, sir? I've packed my life for any hidden sin. I can't just figure out one. I can't. I can't. What is more calling? What is a leku? All right, Jerry, come away. What is my little mother banner? We must be back, Motor. Ah, what is my leku? So, my go, we must be very, very, Laura. Ill, damn you. If we are out at all by leg, I came with two berry. But you say, no. Well, go, we bury, uncle, monkoka. Ah, what are you going to do with your daily joy? I don't think about me. You may have never heard of me. I don't know. 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 Bye, see you later, bye. Ah, look, bye. See you later, bye. Amori, bye. Atu, atu aula, aboton la. Hmm. Ah, so ya bye. Um, what are you doing now? Karare, bye. Bye, 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 Isha, I'm concerned. Hey, come over here, come here. Don't get into the bolibi, come on, my son. Hey, go, la bule, come on, go, la bule. I'm not going to be no. I'm going to be a la double me. Oh, fair, come here. Fwe, fwe, la bule a tiba, na te me da bule lo. Bule a tiba, tiba. Ah, udi mo fe me fe ya o kare ni. Hmm, udi ya lire. A koko mo fe lo ne bada. Iye bide mi kiri ni mo timu. Ebe ma me tado koroba. Come on, come on, come on. 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 Come on, come on, Daddy, I think we need to allow Kola to talk to these people. Otherwise, they won't let us enjoy ourselves in this place. Um, you are right. But uh, I think it's better he doesn't go out there to meet them. Otherwise, they won't let him in again. You're right, sir. You're absolutely right, sir. Uh, so, Kola, my dear son. Yes, sir. Uh, you find a way to attend to those people. Uh, but then, please mind what you say. And then uh, don't try to offer too much. You know the media has the power to quote people out of context uh, so that you don't get into trouble with them. Mm. So you go there now, just tell them something. Let them leave. Please talk to us. Are you Thank okay, you, everyone. Yes. Um, as you can see, I've just been released from uh, a two-month uh, detention. So please, I would want to answer more than two questions. So please, please go ahead. 
Can you tell us your experience in the prison? Yes. Yes. We need it. So yes. Kill yes. the president. Kill the leave. president. I don't know who killed the president. Oh. Are you oh. not the president? Oh. Yes. As I said Why earlier, I, 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 I said I wouldn't want to answer more than two questions. Okay. So hey, guys. Please. Are you not the prophet? I don't know. It is late. You can see you've been disturbing us in the house. Please give us some time. It's been out for a while now, so it needs some kind of rest. So please, go. Then how do we silence that boy? I'm, I'm, I'm wondering, how can that small boy put us under so stress? Hey, Rasky. Wait in the Not true. Not true. I bet shut up. Wait in where they talk. No me they carry all these ashes come out, come, come out of base. When they do you now? Ah, I, I wonder, be, be, before we start operation, the alarm don't blow. Everybody don't, when they do you now? Eh, hey, Rasky. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. How? How is that possible? We are just lucky that Mr. President and the security agents didn't listen to him when he warned them. Though the operation was successful, but we need to eliminate that boy. What time? It's even our client that is worried about it because he has a name to protect. We don't have names, let alone protect one. <laughs> but to be honest, that boy can cause us some problems. Because if our client is implicated, it can point to us. I didn't do that struggle to hand in jail, no. I want to leave to spend my dollars. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But what if that collar boy has already told the SSS about it? So I'll suggest maybe we should leave the country for now. No. I am not leaving this country until I clean up my trails. Look, look, you know we have an agent among the SSS. And he told me that he has threatened him not to mention names. In fact, he told him that if he mentioned names, he can be killed. So he's afraid. He doesn't want to die, so he's not going to mention names. I hope you're right, sir. I hope he has no evidence. You're right, boss. We'll go nowhere. We'll go nowhere. Our man made him understand that he has no option than to keep silent. And now he has possibly decided to shut up the door of his visions. <laughs> There's no cause for alarm. It's true, but our client doesn't feel the same way. He keeps on calling me to silence that boy forever. But I am still thinking, wow. Rock. Yes, boss. It's finished. I want you to go and get me one now. Right away, boss. But, boss, if we kill that boy, won't the whole world know that the same people who killed the president killed him? That we will strategize. We do it in such a way that nobody. So, sir, can we know the name of this client now that the operation is over? Uh, no, no, no. I am not going to do that until he tells me to. Because that will amount to a breach of contract. All right. Mama, babe, see that lecturer, I demand a decrease. Sorry. He wants to want torture my life. Oh. Which thing we still do one test? Me, we'll come to another one. Now. I don't know. Oh. Uh, the truth is, I never read it. Baby? I never read. Ah, Seriously. Baby. I don't want no one to understand me and you now. You will see the things that go sit down for your side. Which can't follow pray, me to come down. I beg, I beg, I beg, I beg. Ah. Oh. Hey, hey, just me now. How far? Oh, you the place where you go. How far? Baby. The guy, he said to me, well, and I was fine and happy. Are you serious? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, just yeah. me now. What happened? He said to me, well. <laughs> well. Yeah, he gave me 50 kills. 
Oh my god. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 50k? Yeah. Babe, we don't have man. <laughs> you know when to go first to that's okay. Better. Yo, no, no, pass. So, so, so. What's it happen? Oh, man. Now, this is a person chop. Now, this person will carry fly now. You know. Babe. See something. See that guy. Yeah. Yeah. Look at that guy right there. Oh, he's so cute. Oh, God. Look at his big arms. So I can't wait for those arms. What's up you now, babe? I am so z. What's up? Now from my house to just the pub, you know the tire. Wait, she concern you, concern you. Your body you. never cold. I your body. Hello, yeah. Bobo. Baby, wait for me on your car, bike. Oh, my God, don't you know what I, I, I can't lose that. Oh, yeah. I can't lose it. Hold oh, no. on. Don't you remember we had a dead? Since you're missing out things here. No, actually, you know, the guy that finished his master's from Oprah College. I'm not a student. Well, people do look alike. Well, yeah, that's true. People do look alike. But I was sure it's here, it's not terrible last week. But it's okay. I'm sorry for the mix up. Um, anyways, my name is Susan. I'm Richard. My friends call me The Rock. Really? The Rock? Mm, is yeah. it because of um, <laughs> the big hands? Maybe. Oh, okay. Um, actually, I was on my way to school. I am a friend over there. Before I saw hey. you, and um, I decided to um, say hello. So, um, can I have your contact so I can keep in touch? That if you don't mind. No, at all. Oh, okay. Um, listen, can I have your scores? What are you with mine? Problem. Um, let me have it. Okay. Um, zero seven zero. <laughs> Six five three two seven eight three. Okay, seven eight three. Oh, it's ringing. Okay, oh. um, you put a nice ringtone. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, okay, um, I'll give you a call before the week runs out. Okay, no problem. Okay, make sure I, I make sure I call you today. Oh, really? <laughs> I like your style. You don't know who you're talking with. Mm. You're talking with the rock. Oh. You do keep my promise. Really? Yeah. I like your style, baby. No problem. Um, all right, Ansem. I have to rush now. No problem, baby. Please. Take care. Bye. 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 Ah! So you now have this number, she? What are you telling me now? <laughs> you know, sometimes I go to wonder why babe going to tell me see they not get bobo head. Friends are lecturers, they even have father come and come to them. How to boy a guy now? You know, actually, I need to tell that to my boring roommate. Give for my, what is your style? I thought she really, really needs your lecture. I bet she really needs to come for lectures, oh I bet. Oh my god, yeah. What's the number? Why would I? But babe, you see that guy doing me, Richard, aka The Rock. I got it! Guys, this is what we're gonna do. We need an innocent person as a scapegoat. We'll kill him and place him inside that boy's house. We'll make it look like an occult thing. We'll invite the security agent who will not be there. We'll just call them. Mm. And then we'll rope him in. With that, we can tarnish his image He's going to lose his integrity. Uh, he will go to jail, honestly. After he must have been indicted, in the jail we can finish him. <laughs> oh, I am good. <laughs> I'm good. I think, I think that will help in hmm. Yeah, that's what we are going to do, actually. Ah, ah, rock! What kept you so late? We almost announced your disappearance on the TV. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, boss. It was one poor school girl that kept me waiting. She was trying to scoop me. What? Is she an old friend? No, boss. I don't know her from Adam. 
do you have a mobile phone number? Yes. Guys, <laughs> can you see that our God is good? We needed a scapegoat and he has provided one. That's it! Come on, shout hallelujah! Hallelujah! God, that's it. That's it. Rock, I, I, I mean, you, you have worked wonderfully. Topics, but this one is a simple arithmetic. Uh, minus times uh, minus it's equal to plus. Shoti Yebeye, I hope you have understood this to this level. Dalong. What is Dalong? What do you mean? Sapanao. Go here. Change on the boat. What is your Oh yeah. Also, you put your only down. Who can you cook? You go. We are just looking for good life. I'm Lule. Can you tell me? Yeah, yeah, hello, meta. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, la, yeah, yeah, hello, meta. I say, Obo, you go. Ah, hey, Lule, me, Obo, 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 you go. Go, talk a lot, talk a lot. I be a call, you go. Yeah, come on, go, you go, go. Ah, Obo, you be a boy, you go. Obo! Baba, I see Surufu. I see Surufu. Kilo alo o inye. Say ye. If we mo like balo do Baba, see the ore me. Omo re so do olu we me wa. Be kene de de ne na ni o. Be mo la koko koko we omo re lo kimi ba koko na koko na le pa si we me wa ti e. Me ma da da kodi ni mo be ule. Eo. Oda. Aba. Eje kimi wo. I can't believe that love has made you forget your little. Uh. What's your little? It's a private number. What is my number? Hello? 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 Yes, that's me. But you still don't recognize this voice. Huh? How many times have I told you not to call me again? You guys have killed my father. Do you want to kill me too? Hey, 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 girl. Watch your tongue. You are talking to Ralph. Why have you decided to spoil my day? Today of all days. <laughs> you know what? Let today be the last time you ever call me on this line. Okay? Don't you ever in your godforsaken life call this life. Nonsense. Hello? 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 That's it! That is it! Enough is enough! This girl has suddenly gone off the limit! I must deal with you this time around.
distinguished senators, you will agree with me that we have dwelt on this matter for so long, this matter of the vice president. Even though he has been suspected and fingered to be part of the killers of the president, we have no proof. And I think we should reconsider our stand in this issue and move the nation forward. I'm throwing the floor open for us to make contributions. Senator Patrick Pascal. Mr. President, sir, your question is not so clear to me. Are you saying we should decide judgment on the, pre on the vice, uh, former vice president? That we should declare him innocent or swear him in as the new president? No, 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 Order! 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 Senator William, go back to your seat. Senator Lambo, you have the floor. Thank you, Mr. President. The best action I think we can take as regards this uh, situation is that we hasten up those who are in charge of the investigations. We cannot wait for eternity. Yes. I think we should give them a seven-day ultimatum. That is my suggestion. Hmm. Who do you think? Are we going to be saved out of this presidential view? Now that the president is dead. No, I don't think so. It's been two months already. Well, except of course when the new president is born. So who do you think the next president will be? <laughs> what sort of question is that? The vice president, of course. The vice president. Mm -hmm. But he is the prime suspect in this case. The whole thing happened. Just when the president was going to expose the perpetrators of the embezzlement. And the vice president was the chairman of the state dear project. I don't think so. They are best of friends. Even before they went to politics. Friends? Did you say friends? Hey, hey, hey. You don't know what people can do for money and position. Best friends can be called worst enemies when money is involved. <laughs> well, but the vice president is not like that. Do you remember the last time the son is here? He was really mad at him. The man is a good man. Mm -hmm. Okay. If you say so. But wait a minute. What if we are eventually sent out of this place? What will be your next line of action? Because it appears you have planned to live the rest of your life in this villa. What is that supposed to mean? Don't I have my certificates? Please don't insult me. Uh, uh, it was only a joke. Don't hit me raw. Uh. Thank you, Mr. President. I think before we begin to set ultimatum, I will, please, you will permit me to ask a question. And probably we need to 
beam our searchlight beyond this country. Why? We have been looking inwards so far, we have not been able to find the killer of the president. Mr. President, if I take us just a little bit uh, towards memory lane, this is not the first time such a thing will happen. Thank you. Particularly the period we find ourselves, the period of terrorism and insurgency is there. It has happened in Israel before. It has happened in Thailand before. What says that the president was not killed by some terrorists there? If it has happened before, what makes our case different? Mr. President, order. please, order. let's find an Thank you. Order. Order. What says that what we are looking for inward is not outside? If it has happened before, Mr. President, I think we should look outside to find the killers. Thank you, sir. No, I don't know. <laughs> thank you, um, <clears throat> um, thank you, Mr. President. I like to question Senator Lambo's uh, suggestion. You see, in the history of this nation, as a matter of fact, we have not been noted to have anything to do with terrorism. Yes. Yes. By, excuse me, by the virtue of our culture our value system, everything that surrounds us, our morals. We don't usually, we, we, in fact, we never have anything to do with terrorism. <laughs> now, 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 distinguished uh, senators, I do hope we are not taking jihadists, this jihadist for terrorism, this set of people whom some cabas in this country have been using to perpetuate a lot of nefarious activities. <laughs> now, the only issue here, distinguished senators, please, give me, let me your ears. The only issue here is that this act must have been perpetuated, I said, must have been carried out by this same sect whom these cabas have been using. Are we not there? Yeah. We know that. Yeah. 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 I think uh, we must not more do things up. That is just my submission. Yeah. You said you wanted to ask a question. You asked the question and the answer yourself. <laughs> Order. Senator Freeman, you have the floor. Hi, Mr. President, and my fellow members of the state. No matter what we say, the people of this nation will continue to believe what they want to believe. That is true. That is true. I think our main focus will be on truthfully reassuring them that we are still firing out of the investigation and later we'll be giving them updates. However, in the meantime, concerning our vice president, who is now the acting uh, president, a suspect is innocent. Okay, thank you. You have made your point, Senator Freeman. Uh, Senator Kike Abala. Thank you very much. I think it would be unwise not to inaugurate him fully as the president. Is that okay? no. Yes. No. Because no. this will be, excuse me, because, excuse me, excuse me, please. excuse me, Mr. President, as I was saying, Mr. President, as I was saying, Mr. President, as I was saying, thank you. As I was saying before I was interrupted, the whole world will see it as a case of human rights violation. Yes! Excuse me! Excuse me! Mr. President, Mr. President, we've already gone two months without a president. So I think we have to act fast because this is a scenario of an a shaky interim government decision. Thank you very much. Yeah. 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 Thank you. 
Thank you very much for that statement, uh, Senator Abana and all the other contributors. You see, who says that we do not have very intelligent women? I wonder. I wonder. Contribute intelligently. Yes. 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 Our quality. I've been waiting for someone to give me a very good suggestion and make a worthy contribution. Uh, well, we will need to be realistic, and uh, like our president used to say, if you care about what people will say about you then you will not do anything. Yes. Yes. And whatever you do, you must always make sure you are holding true. Of course. Well, distinguished senators, President. I would want us to put this matter to vote. Better. Without wasting time. Better. Okay. Okay. Those who are in support that we give the Investigators, a seven-day ultimatum, uh, and if we don't hear any credible thing, we swear in and inaugurate the vice president. Say aye. 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 Those who want us to continue investigating and investigating and investigating, and investigating. And investigating. let me hear you say nay. 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 So sweet among the sisters in the church. And I said, Wow, how could you be this beautiful and you be part of the sisters? So I walked up to the girl. What? Yeah. To a sister? Hey, excuse me, sister. My name is Steve. Mm -hmm. And I'd like to take you out for dinner. Holy Mary, Mother of God. Exactly. I took permission from her before coming to you. <sighs> I walked up to my You know what they have? I just.
Baba Kola, are you sleeping? Oh, God. What kind of question was that? What do you think I'm doing? Ah. Uh, but I can't sleep. <laughs> Listen there. Look, the God who delivered him from the first problem is still alive. Eh? Look, if he is watching over him, we don't have to worry. Eh? Look, don't cry yourself sick, eh? my dear. Sleep. We oh, yeah, are. Oh, yeah. Come and sleep. We'll continue the search for him tomorrow morning. Hmm? But I can't sleep. I keep waking up after some time. But I, I've told you over and over again that when you find it difficult to sleep during the night, then you, you pray. <laughs> it's my son we are talking about here. It's not easy. I'm going to the city. <laughs> Okay, go, 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 go and cry yourself uh, and kill yourself with worry. Huh? Look, don't, don't, don't go, go there and be praying aloud. You pray in low tones and don't wake everyone in the neighborhood. Huh? the night, despite the fact that we are trying all of our best to find her, crying won't solve this issue. Mommy, it's okay. It's okay. I don't want to lose my daughter. God. Mommy, it's okay. My only daughter. It's okay, mommy. I don't want to lose her. Mommy, please. Mommy, there is a tray. They will soon find her now. Amen. Mommy, you can hear that. They will find her. Amen. Don't you people think there is a foul play here? Or do you think the boy could have done such a thing? When I contacted the police about the incident, they said the person that came to inform them did not declare his identity. I think someone is trying to set him up. Or what do you think? Yes, you are right, sir. I think there is someone that sees that man as a threat. Exactly. Mm -hmm. That is what I think. Sir, I think one of the leaders is involved in this. Hmm. And have you heard anything about his whereabouts from his friend's phone? No, sir. He has not contacted him on phone. Sooner or later, he will. They are best of friends. Where could he be hiding now? like you to meddle with my business. Don't you have some national issues you want to think about? Anyways, the investigation will soon be over and then you'll become the nation's number one man. <laughs> Isn't that what you've always wanted? Are you telling me that the kidnap of the president's daughter should not be my concern? No, it shouldn't. I mean, you've been praying for a long time to become the president, but now you have the opportunity. Where's Cherish? 
the bodies of your so-called useless bodyguards were found in the bush near where Haka was abandoned. The last old man. <laughs> what are you going to do about it? Pin it on me? <laughs> you see, those guys were not known to be my bodyguards. I mean, they were just employed not quite long ago. The public knows that it's only Karim and Tito that are my bodyguards. Father, what will you do? Report your son to the police. <laughs> what if I do? Raf, what if I do? What will you do? You are a disgrace. I cannot imagine you are my son. And my blood runs in your veins. Yes, your blood flows in my vein. And listen, Mr. Vice President, alias my father. If you by any means mention my name to the police or the SSS. <laughs> Old man, you are roping yourself in. <laughs> what will you do? Let's start by saying you are the prime suspect in the death of the late president. And imagine how you feel if it is made known to the public that your son attempted to murder the daughter of the late president. I can even spice it up by saying, My father ordered me to kill the daughter of the late president because she knows of his involvement in the father's death. <laughs> you have a genius for a son. Your blood sure flows in my veins. <laughs> Old man. <laughs> you son of Satan! You will not get away with this. Ah, like father, like son. <laughs> oh, this man. <laughs> oh, my God. Thank you very much. Sir, I have this funny feeling that uh, we are not from here. You have a very good command of English. You speak like a, like a professor. <laughs> it's a long story, my friends. Uh, now that you are ready to move, everything that happened uh, is beyond human comprehension. But let's save it till when next you visit. I believe I am not from here. Hmm. Uh, I can't I can't understand it, but you look like something tells me I don't belong to this place. The head of the village said he picked me up when he was coming from a distant village. He said I was wounded. He nursed me to help. And I, I don't understand. I, the problem is I don't even know who I am. I don't, I don't know where I came from. But sir, um, Mama? Was there not any form of identification at the scene of the incident? Uh, you know, he's not enlightened enough to have such thing in mind. <sighs> it's a, it's a... Sir, it's getting late. I think we, sh we should be going by now. Okay, it's alright. It's alright. We'll join you in the car. Alright. Yeah. Please, don't open the door. Let me go and get a shift. Let me get a shift. 
Don't open that door. I'm sorry, I'm busy with my husband. We are very busy, we have not finished. Cherish, what your husband is that? Husband? Oluchi, is that you? Oh my god! Hmm. What's two spoons? Hmm. What's happening? Cherish! Can I come up now? Oh dear. What's that? I forgot. Um it's my guardian angel. Angel, you can come out now. It's my guardian angel. He's my fugitive partner. I'm okay. sure you know him. Look at him intently. Look very well. I am Connor Brown. Co oh! Connor Brown! Thank you. Oh my god, everybody uh -huh. knows Connor Brown mm -hmm. on TV. I'm oh. Oluchi Harrison. Pleased to meet you. Connor Brown was again. Brown. Oh my god. I don't know you. How did you guys meet? talk oh wait a minute oh I know you oh. well my dear I know you have lots of questions but firstly please tell me how the hell did you escape from those assholes hey, sorry. he's a pastor That used to call me daddy and uh, and this also three guys in that same room. Good to my you win the best. 
So guys, here we are. <laughs> well, I do hope you like the colors. Of course, fantastic. I love the colors, my favorite colors. <laughs> Thank you very wonderful. much. Wonderful. Mm. Anyway, it's actually my mom's own before she passed away. Oh, wow. So it's nice, that's nice. Thank you very much. All the chi, all the chi. Thank you so much. Ah, please, this should lift up my spirits in these trying times. <laughs> Thank God, something will lift up your spirit. Thank God. Oh my God. Anyways, Oluchi, my friend, you go marry better husband. You go get better husband. <laughs> anyway, that reminds me. Um, I got this one for you. I got this one for you. Can you use one? Oh, of course. And his Mokola, I hope you like it. Yes. Of course he will like it. Does he have a choice? Given all the problems we have, trust me, the look of the phone is a list of his problems. Oh yeah? Right, Kola? Yes, Kola will like this. At least your own, is, your own phone is bigger than this. Is that not? <laughs> Thank you, Oluchi. Thank you. God bless you. You're welcome. You have started. Mm. I've told you times without number. All these uh, God bless you things. Don't be saying it around me. Uh -uh. Margaret Thatcher. Uh -uh. What do you expect from the guy? He has to live up to the lady. Oh. I've told you that if at all you want to say anything, at least let it be something that we humans can understand. Should I curse you? You see what I'm dealing with? I hope you, you by any means know this one because I have to make some calls. You can call for as long as you wish. Thank you. God bless you once again. Thank you. Thanks, Oluchi. So you want to call um, Steven? Yeah. And your parents? Exactly. I think if I can get Steve, then I can get through to my parents through him. Because, you know, like you, I just don't want to go around them, you know, because of any danger. 
for safety. And Steve's father is an icon in the politics. So if I can get Steve, since his father will never allow anybody to detain him, then I'll be able to get them. I hope one day this running and running in the bush, in the forest will come to an end and become free people. Hopefully. Honestly, I can't wait to get out of this situation. Holichi, my dear. Thank you so much for this place. Anytime, girl. Honestly, it's it's different from the hotel we were in. In fact, I don't even want to go there. And to think that my birthday is in a couple of days. Ugh. You can remember birthday now? That's true. <laughs> okay, don't worry, girl. I'm going to arrange for something special for your birthday. Oh, I trust you. Because I can't even imagine spending it with the prophet. Ah, cherish. What? Anyway, you guys should enjoy yourself. Okay, let me get you a drink. Thank you, I need it. I'm getting sure the words. That's what he does to me. <laughs> Thank you. Oh boy. Hello? Kola. Kola. Is that really you? Ah, ah, Kola. Why have you punished me this way? Why are you doing this? I've gotten information to me. Your mom is worried sick. Your sister is even just trying to hold her. Why? Why are you doing this? This is a long story. I love my family. Yes, I know they will feel better if I should tell them that I've spoken with you on phone. I can't contact them now, so I don't want to put them in danger. So what next? It is obvious from the conversation that Kola Brown is most likely innocent. That is just being framed up. No one knows about the bug in Steve's phone. And the president's daughter is most likely alive. But in danger. This issue is getting complicated. The Senate has instructed that we must find the president's daughter. The police has also decided to give monetary reward to anyone that could give information that will lead to Kola's arrest. He was once a suspect during the late President's bomb blast issue. <laughs> and it seems every federal security wants to take credit in this issue. So we are not the only one trying to track him down. Oh. Hello. Hold on. <laughs> Sir. Hello? Okay, sir. No problem. We'll take care of this. We will handle the situation. What about the poison? Okay, okay, no problem. You, you take care of your own and we'll take care of ours. Alright. Alright. This time we we'll finalize it. We are waiting for the address. Wow. 
<laughs> nice to finally meet you. Nice to meet you too. Nice to meet you too. I met Jobs, Aww. the angel in uniform. <laughs> so good to meet you, finally. Yes, nice to meet you too. I feel like I know you guys already. I've heard so much about Steve and Joyce. I hope he said good things. Of course, good things. No, he has no choice. <laughs> <laughs> he has no choice. Wow. Well, I, well I, I am saying it with all my heart that your beauty is not that of the media type that they camouflage, you know. <laughs> you know, TV makes people look more beautiful than they are, they are you know, yeah, actually. Yeah. But Just you are. <laughs> no, no, absolutely. You're original. You're so beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. I'm blushing, literally. <laughs> Oh God! Yes. Uh, yes. Have you seen yourself? <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 uh, guys. Oh my God! Mister Boy is very right, please. I Let's know you do guys something. Have a lot of questions. Do lots of questions. They ask questions. Let's do something. This place is dry, man. Yeah, it's okay. I know you have problem with food. Sorry. <laughs> Imagine. But you are eating. <laughs> you won't mind us. Please. Let me get you guys something. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Well, thank you. So, so how has this been? Wow, wow, just mm. no words, literally. I can't no live in your shoes. <laughs> I can't do it. I don't think I can too. <laughs> but, imagine. But here you are, right? Yeah, we're just are. taking it one day at a time, one step at a time. How wow. did you get all this? Really? <laughs> For real? Oluchi. Oluchi has. Really, That's really your friend, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. She's, well, she's really tried. She's oh. really tried, yeah. This is... <laughs> So good to see you. So oh, finally, I guess your food is here. Yeah. Oh. oh. Take Thank it you. yourself. <laughs> Be nice. Oh. <laughs> Thank you, darling, for helping them. For helping you. Yeah, for helping them. <laughs> <laughs> Can you <laughs> Yes. Oh. Sorry. Yes. So, guys. Oh, so we don't seem good or callous. Cherish. We're very, very sorry about your dad's death. It was, it was such a good man. Oh. It was. Thank you. Thank you very much. In fact, he was the best president we've ever had. Sure. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Guys. Um. Tomorrow is Cherry's birthday. Wow. <laughs> and we are celebrating it. No. Of course, of course. What do you mean, no? <laughs> I don't. There's nothing to celebrate. What? Don't say no, don't that. say that. Don't say that. I mean, we have so much to thank God for. We are definitely going to celebrate this. Honey, mm. we're going with cake, we're going with snacks, we're going with everything. We're celebrating. Tomorrow. Exactly. Come on, guys. You don't have to go through all of that for me. Seriously, I'm fine. Ah, yeah, you deserve yeah, it, fine. babe. You deserve it. You deserve it. <laughs> You've been through a lot. I mean, you've been through a lot. And a little relation will do you good. Yes. See? Joyce, Steve, and even Oluchi will join us. We'll get some snacks, cake, and we'll celebrate this. Mm. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Fine. You guys win. Yes. Oh, <laughs> so, where's the space you guys stay? Um, where do we stay again? <laughs> Somewhere. Um, in a bungalow. Yeah. A bungalow La of um, La Doline La area. Line, yeah. Yes. Line, we, yeah. just both of us stay in the compound. No one else stays with us, oh, so really? it's fine. Yeah, so it's safe. Yeah. That's good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So you guys, what's, what's the next plan? I think I need to prove my innocence. You know, the people after us see color as a threat. And in fact, I have a strong feeling that my case is somewhat linked to colors. <clears throat> How? For example, I think that, okay, the person or the people who are trying to rope um, color in, yeah. they are trying as much as possible to pin, you know, all their atrocities on color. So I think the idea here is to get color, kill color, and then cook up a story, you know, to rope it in into my father's death. I mean, he's going to be dead. Dead bodies don't talk. They can't defend themselves. And even if his family decides that, okay, let's investigate it, they're going to be up against an array of powerful people, people with money and influence. 
So actually, it's going to be their words against his or his family. You understand? Kola, <laughs> Kola is forever going to be termed the guy who killed the president. Me on the others, in my own case, they believe. Okay, my father knew some secrets, and because we were close, they they they, they think. Okay, I'm also privy to those information and all that. So definitely, they want me dead. Wow. <laughs> I mean, how did you think of that? Your brain is like on fire. I mean, you should join the exercise. <laughs> wow. But that's what happens when you hang around the late president. I mean, your brain just keeps spinning. You have to work. <laughs> wow. Oh, okay. oh my God. Anyway, I'm not surprised, you know. Master's degree from Harvard University. University. Oh, your <laughs> Anyway, um, Kola, has God revealed to you who killed the president? He hasn't. And I have stopped asking him to reveal the person to me. Why? I guess you guys should understand one thing. This God we are talking about is not God of Kola alone. He's the God of the universe. Anybody, anywhere can ask him anything. And he will reveal it. To such person, the only thing you need to do is to have a, a, a relationship with him by confessing your sins and then you know get closer to it's him. Cola, okay. here we go again. I mean, about it's the, the conversation is so intense. Once you speak up point, we're talking about this. I think you know, <laughs> <laughs> but that's Cola, you know. What yes, you're this is oh. Pastor Prophet Cola. <laughs> It's all good. Forever. Kola. Kola. Kola, what is it? What's up? I, I saw the vision. Just as it's here. Huh? I saw them. I saw them all over. Wow. As in, everywhere. They are here for us. They are here for us. Yes, yes. yes. You guys can leave. Go through the second entrance, okay? I saw them questioning you over for feet. No, don't worry, I'll take care of that. That's don't worry, you can go now. Thank you. Please do that. Okay. You don't remember my face again. Oh, SSS. That's right. Uh, nice to have you guys. Uh, have your seat. You care to join the table. No, thank you very much. I came with my team for an assignment. So do enjoy yourself. I've got to be. Let's go, guys. Thank you very much. Thank you. Oh, that was close. <laughs> Man. It's good to have that gift. No, you're good. <laughs> no, you not are. just me. Because for Kola to have seen it, I man, that's great. Yeah. Ah. Wow, wow, wow. Oh, no. <laughs> you're welcome. Sir. Uh, uh, you're welcome. Baba. You're welcome. You're welcome. Good afternoon, sir. It's good to see you. Thank you but very this is just 10 days. You said you'll be coming back in two weeks. Mm, yes, sir. 
One of our van was coming to a nearby village, so we yeah. seized the opportunity to come and check on you. Just to check how on far you. you've been? Yes. 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 So, Thank how you are you now? I'm oh, fine. fine. Mm. Yeah, you can see. Actually, mm. actually, uh, we when we left the other time, we yeah. stumbled across some information that we think uh, we just need to discuss with you to be able to establish some facts. I see. Yes, yes. Yeah. And the issue is that. Um, from what you have told us and from our findings, there's yeah. something that is similar between you and the president that was uh, assassinated mm -hmm. some months ago. Ah. You see, yes. that president, uh, yes, you have the same look, exactly. but it's just that that one is a little bigger than you. Than you, yes. yeah. Yes. And the president has four children, three boys and a girl. The name of the girl is... Yeah, that's Cherish. Cherish. And Cherish. the boys, Dion, Lanre, and Toby. Okay, yeah. Can you recollect? Sherry. Babaki and no, Sherry. Cherish. Um, uh, the president Iwati won't pa. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Some months ago. Yeah. Oh, Olansoko. Oh, Amare, like Sherry. Sherry. Babaki and yeah, Sherry. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yes. I can't remember. No. Oh, God. Sherry. Sherry. Ah. Ki joso. Yeah, my children. Ki joso. Baba, Sherry a re ori lady yi. O ni omo merin. Okunrin meta ati obinrin kan. Sherry oruko odun yen lo nje Sherry se yin pe ni Sherry yen. Awon okunrin meteta yin la daruko won fun won. O wa da bi pe oye oro yen lo nwa si won lopo lo die die. The person was very fond of the daughter. Ah, out here, I hear you ask me. Oh, where are they? Where are they? Amara, Amara, Uleun. Where Amara, Uleun? Other baby, baby, she don't record. They can't be caught in that. Other baby, they can't be caught in that. I hear you all here. This is a very serious matter now. Baba Tiba, Baba Tiba. I'm not even sure if you are a job. I'm not even sure if you are a job. I'm not even sure if you are a job. I'm not even sure if you are a job. I'm not even sure if you are a job. Mm. Major, please make sure you don't leave this place. Yes, Just I want sure. to see them. Yeah, right. make sure we'll be coming back them. for you. Make sure you don't leave. Right. Uh huh. Because this security issue now, somebody may be after you. We will go mm. and then come back by the grace of God. Thank you very so, much. Baba, I hate the poor. I hate the poor. I hate the poor. I Thank you very much. We sure come back. We sure come back. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. Guys, yes, boss. our client just called to inform me that uh, his informant in the SSS has given him the address. They are also going there. Did you say something? Okay. What should I get for your birthday? Well, it's okay. It's okay if you if you have nothing to give me. It's fine. Ah. <sighs> I, I do have something to say. I have composed a very wonderful song for you. Okay. So, you're not just a prophet or an angel. You now sing songs too? Once you get to the house, just pick them up and meet me at the usual place. Yes, boss.
Oluchi. I get that should be Oluchi. Maybe it's Oluchi. No, it's Oluchi. Oluchi, come in, come in. It's not locked. Suspect and a wonderful prophet. Oh, oh, how come it wasn't revealed to you that you were coming? <laughs> oh, perhaps the beautiful president daughter has defied you, isn't it? What do you want? You are now. What do you want? What do you want? Your father also refused to beg for his life before we blow his head off. Are you stupid? <laughs> you stupid bastard! You killers! You killed my father! You killed my father! You killed my father! You killed my father! You killed! You killed! You killed. You killed. No! No! Yourself some energy. You'll be needed out very soon. See, you can't get away with this, you stinking rock. Let me eat. Quiet, bitch! Quiet! Son of a bitch! Shut up! Shut the hell up! Shut up! Murderers! Fuck this! This is filthy rocks! Kill us! Kill us! Kill us! Not Quiet. it! Murderers! No. You're a murderer! Now I'm going to call the person you have been longing to meet. Like I told you, I'm just a contractor here. And I want you to be a good girl for at least one minute. You will get your money this Sir, we are set. The two of them are here. Uh, should we waste them once and for all? Okay, sir. It's all right. What did you say? You heard me. I promise you, you are not going to have another opportunity to say that again.
Senate President. You? Great. This is just great. You? How could you do this? I mean, for once, I actually thought he was the Vice President, but you? Is this some joke? Will you shut up and listen to me? Look, I am a businessman. Do you know how much I invested to put your father in that office? Huh? I invested several millions of dollars to put your father in that seat and office. Uh, I want to use the restroom. Don't worry. We'll be gentle on you. As we are gentlemen. <laughs> Get inside! What? Do you want to follow me in there? You, you, you have that. Quiet! What is special about you? What is this thing that I've never seen before? Come on, get inside. I only give five minutes, and after that, anything can happen. Come on, get inside! Get inside! Get inside! President. Wow, 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 wow. What can I do now? My God, my God. So, that's how they'll keep my friends. Oh my God. What should I do? What should I do? Jesus, help me. Okay. Uh, stay, stay. Wait, wait. Relax. Talk to yourself. Talk to yourself. Um, okay. Hello, baby. Yes, baby, listen. There's something very urgent. Cherish and Cola, they are, they are they, 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 they've been kidnapped. Yes. Sunny President is involved, but wait, uh, please get this information to your people. Yes, I have the whole info. She just called me now. I don't know how, but she just called me. And now, inform your people that they had one house between the Intertrainer River. Uh, opposite Mercury Road. Yes. Opposite Mercury. I, I didn't say mercenary. I said Mercury. Mercury Road. Yes. But no, you. You should not come. Please. You know your condition. So please, stay away from this. Stay away. But inform your people. I, I, I know what to do. I need to really slow down the whole thing. Okay? Yes, yes. Bye-bye. Bye for now. <laughs> <laughs> Saying your last prayers, eh? Very necessary. 
I was one of the key sponsors that made your father the president. I put him in that office. And what did he do? When he became president, immediately he started that useless anti-corruption campaign. He deprived me from making my dividend. You mean this is the address you heard? Yes, sir. It was Cherry's voice, no doubt. She mentioned something about the assassin killing them soon. She also mentioned the Senate president. He's at the location. I think he's behind the operation. You mean the Senate president? Yes, sir. Hello, Victor. Yes, sir. Get your team set now. You must arrest everyone at the scene. I mean everyone. You need to move now. Move, move, yes, move. I don't care where it is. Arrest everyone. Is that right? You don't even know your God. Half as much as I do. <laughs> I'm sure God himself is happy watching this scenario. Because as soon as the two of you are gone, there will be peace and things will return to me. No mercy. Hello, of this great federation. I am so sorry for the death of the president. Since his death, I have not been at peace. I have been having dangerous nightmares, and that has prompted me to confess to the killing of the president. He threatened to expose my involvement in the Syria scandal, and I have no option that to hire some foreign assassin to get rid of him. By the time you are seeing this broadcast, I will have committed suicide. Please forgive me. The seated president, a righteous man, will continue the good work of the former president. Once again, I am very sorry. May God bless you all. May God bless our federation. And may God accept my soul. Drive, Abu, drive. I just hope we are not too late. There are only two intertwining rivers on this side of the country. I just hope it's this one. Yes, there. That is the junction to the intertwining river. Turn, Abu, turn. I am a genius. <laughs> Isn't that not so? Blaspheming? Shut up and listen to me! What do you know about blasphemy? I have several, several men of God who prophesy, prophesy about me, prophesy into my future, and tell me things. Things!
that's happening here? Huh? Who is this guy? Who is this? Who are you? Come on. Hey, 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 hey. Sit down, sit down. If you fail to answer my question, I promise you I'm going to break your leg. And after that, I will remove all your nails with this. Steve. Steve! Steve! Who are you? Please! Please, let me Please, let me Please, let me Please, let me He's my friend! He's my friend! Please, please! He's your friend! Yes! You called him? No! How did he get in here? He probably followed us, man. He meant no harm. Please! He's harmless! Please, I'm less. Please, please. Begin to talk. Begin to talk. My name is Steve. My name is Steve. My name is Steve. Uche Guna. My friend's son. Ah. So you want your blood on my hands too? Check outside. Rock. Whisk them. Sir, let's go, let's go. reporting live from the scene of the attempted murder of Kola Brown and Cherish Adibowali, the daughter of the, of the president. You recall that Cherish Adibowali had been missing after an attempt on her life. Here, a certain man named Steve. <laughs> You cannot die, please. You will not die. Whether the president was buried or not, they don't know because it wasn't announced. I don't know why you don't mind me, Shatu Jerupe. Come back on back on Shah. Do you know what we? I bought one. I really did come here. 
tori bi o se mi soro o je mi ran ti pe lejo mo ri o ilibinu gboni e ti pe a tu fo are tan lori radio ninu moto lejo nki mo firi o ni a so de wo lejo un a so niyan le la ni a so wa lu le be o amo mi le wa la le ejo merin le a ma wa ye ni wo ko ba la jo wo ni are ni ori mi sun re ni o I said, I read a lot of it. You know, let me Only Miss Reni, oh, Daddy. Come out and do one and come out if you dream, who are there? Mother, yeah, I read a new. Would you only go south and miss you, do you? Hm? Told you, yeah, I get Lulia, Reni. Would you, oh, do you only move? Would you only go for me? Do you know? Mother, Jack, no me do you? Come by, lie, sorry. Come on, don't know, let you wrong. Oh, daddy, yeah, I did in the job with the other one. Tori, more vacant, yeah. Came in a laugh for a man, see a row leg with my sofa. Can let my old dormant, yeah, the relay, they were Kyobo, Luma, Bome. Can let one of the other one, let it go to the other one. Only care I can let me yo, yeah, you'll meet a guinea go, huh? Oh, daddy, if you are for those mo gba gbe udi o ni o udi o ti ogbo ha mo ja de o ye o udi o ni o ori me so eh yeye bi de mi yeye bi de mi o o ja re kini bag mo gbe a lati ona ko lotion ni ba mi gbe a ke mi ma la la o wa sale ori me so emi kan le je mo mo irin o ja re Ma je agbagbe bi mo fa de nsi ni o. Sweet, I felt so sorry for him. What do you mean he felt so sorry for him? Why would he use the church money in his possession to meet personal needs? That means he lacks integrity. Don't say that like that. Maybe he thought he could get the money elsewhere, not knowing it would be needed urgently. It could have been anybody. Anybody? Don't give me that. It couldn't have been anybody. It couldn't have been me. Matters of integrity should be taken very seriously. In fact, I, I doubt his Christianity. Oh, oh, oh me. It could have been an emergency, you know? Sometimes some pressure could make someone do cruel things, you know? I'm just making excuses for him. Why not just call a spade a spade? Digging pollution, what Digging pollution did was very wrong, that you know it. Pressure or no pressure? What amount of pressure should ever make one do such a thing? What I mean, what are you telling me? It's good. It was disgraced. I mean, that will serve as a deterrent to others who want to engage in such thing. And if anybody does that, the person should be disgraced as well. Hmm. It is weird. Cherish, mm. that make chocolate mix for you. No. <laughs> Thank you, I'm okay. I'm happy. The moment I saw you, that's your life. My energy came back. Please, no of your just. Meanwhile, you will excuse me. Let's go to the restroom. Okay, all right. All right. Okay, so if you are not taking the chocolate mix, would you take this? 
But but seriously, what about Steve? Where is he? Well, he's been soon, bro. I just pray God should help my friend because there'll be no other like him. Now I feel very guilty. I really regret calling Steve instead of the police. But I was so desperate. And he was the only person who came to my mind. You know, because he knows everything. He knows so much about what's been going on. Well, I believe it was God himself that made him come to life. Because we never knew his life was connected to the state, state security council. You know, if he had not come on time, that time, you know, he would have been killed by now. Mm -hmm. Or even at that, mm -hmm. I still feel very, very bad. I know all about professional ethics and I don't care about that. It's either you save one person's life and lose yours, your wife and your children, or you save the people that are most important to you. Please, give me that uh, injection. Work done. You don't need to worry at all. As soon as you inject her, the poison will flow through her bloodstream. And then in the next five hours, she's dead. And when they carry out the autopsy, they can never find the trace of this poison in her bloodstream. And you can just announce to the world that um, she died uh, of one complication or the other, possibly internal bleeding, okay? Once this job is done successfully, then you can have your family safe. But how am I sure after carrying out or what you say that you do, that you will still fulfill your part. <laughs> relax, the deal. relax, doctor, relax. By now, you should have known that I am not interested in the death of your family. The only person I want dead is that bitch. Okay? I don't want her alive. Can you imagine? She embarrassed me in the presence of important dignitaries. And she even ordered the execution of my men. If you were to be in my shoes, what would you do? Would you want such a person to leave? But, but please, don't, don't do anything to my family. I will do whatever you ask me to do. Oh. Please. Am I not trustworthy? See, if you fail to deliver your part of the bargain, I will kill you, kill your wife and your children, and that girl will still die. The ball is in your court. Okay, don't, don't worry. I'm going to do whatever you ask me to do, but just leave them. I'll be back. Please. Whatever. Just suit yourself. Yes, gentlemen. How may I help you? Doctor, he's with me. Okay. Your fiance? No. <laughs> yes, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, just... Oh. Stop, doctor! Gentlemen, what is wrong with you? You almost made me prick myself with the needle. Call her, what is it? Do you have phobia for needles? Eh? Please, don't disturb the doctor. If you cannot, you close your eyes and let me do it. Please. Call her. What is it? Speak to me. Don't make me panic. He wants to inject you with poison. Poison? What? Dr. Nicolas Silot. He's been cherished family doctor for years and also my own family doctor. So why would he want to do such a thing? Please, don't insult the man. I mean, this is outrageous. I will ask the security man to walk you out of this place now. I don't want to know if you are our fiancé or not. Poison? Angel, are you sure of what you are saying? Perfectly sure. God cannot lie. Security! Security! <laughs> doctor! Get this man out of here and Doctor, my job. Doctor, I'm sure he was just joking. Please, I beg you. Kola, please apologize to the man. What is wrong with you? Um, cherish, talk to your friend. Oluchi, I believe him. Security, please stand by. I order you. 
as the daughter of the late president. No swearing in has been done. So officially, my father still remains the president of this country. Dr. Duncan, inject yourself with that injection. If it is not lethal, like you claim, then I'll take the blame. I mean, you can sue the hell out of me and my family. What, what, what sort of rubbish is this? Cherish, are you out of your mind? This is Dr. Donko you are talking to. Your mom will hear about this. I mean, what, 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 what's this? This is an insult on my person. A young man, do you want to teach me my job? This is an analgesic, for God's sake. Are you still arguing, doctor? Do you think I'm guessing? Fine. If it's an analgesic as you claim, then it will do you not if you inject yourself with it. Officer, tell him to inject himself with that injection here and now. Oh no, don't do that. I would rather have that as a sample to be tested in the laboratory. Meanwhile, arrest this man. You're going to be under the state security custody. But why? Why SSS custody? Why? Oh, hold, okay, okay, hold on, hold on. <coughs> Dr. Lancelot, what is it? What? I'm sorry, I, I didn't mean to do this. The content is actually lethal. What? The vice president's son made me to do it. Ralph? Ralph. He's having my, my, my family in, in hostage. They, they, they are held in hostage outside there. Your family? Yes. You mean? Ralph is the brain behind all this. Exactly. Oh my God, I'm, I'm sorry. Oh my God, oh please give my phone, please. <sighs> Dr. Dunkel. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Ralph. I'm sorry, please. <laughs> Hello? Mommy, I'm okay, I'm fine, I'm fine. Please, can you come here quickly? Are you with Brother Larry? Please come here quickly, please. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I've called my office. They are on their way. The evidence remains with us. Meanwhile, arrest this man. Take him to your office. No questioning, no interrogation. A state security person will get to your office soon. All right, sir. Yeah. Uh, officer, wait. Please wait. Um, if you take this man out through this door, then you will jeopardize the life of his family if what he's saying is true. I believe him, actually. But if you permit me, officer, I have a simple plan. Really? Yes, I have a simple plan. Okay. Uh... Thank you. Thank you very much. You've saved my life again. Honestly, I really want to deeply apologize for the things I said. Because I really didn't believe that Dr. Lancelot could do such a thing. I believed. I understand. But it's just that Dr. Lazarus had been the family doctor for years. I got to think of it. He was on that table tell you to save his family. He still didn't have the right to do that. Sweetie, are you okay? I'm fine, I'm fine. It's just this constant close brushes with death. It's hard to, to get used to, you know. I was almost killed. Cherish. I know not see that God loves you. And it wants you to realize that by God knows. He does love me. Hola. Can you tell me what exactly I need to do to get this gift of hearing and, and talking to God? It's a precious gift, you know. Mm -hmm. I have always told you. You cannot get a gift without you having a cordial relationship with the owner of the gift. You need to invite Jesus into your life. Kola, I'm also ready to know all the procedures. Because if you were not around, my friend would have died by now. I want to know the God you serve. Then give your life to Christ. How? The Bible says, in the book of John chapter 3 verse 3, it says, Verily, verily, I say unto you, except a man be born again, he shall not see the kingdom of heaven. When you accept Jesus into your life, the Holy Spirit comes into you, he dwells in you. It becomes your friend, your comforter. It makes you have a cordial relationship with God. In fact, you begin to relate with God directly as we relate with each other right now. You mean I can relate with the Holy Spirit one-on-one -on -one the way I'm relating with Cherish and you right now? Yes, you can. 
me, well, that sounds fine and, and simple. Are you two ready to accept Jesus now? Yes. yes. Say this with after me, meaningfully. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. I accept that I am a sinner. I accept that I am a sinner. I confess my sins before you. I confess my sins before you. I know you came into the world to die for my sins. I know you came into the world to die for my sins. From now on. From now on. I accept you as my personal Lord and Savior. I accept you as my personal Lord and Savior. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hello. 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 I would also like to welcome the Chief Judge of the Federation in the person of Justice Paul Ishaku. Why would they want to swear him in since we know his tenure will end in two months' time? Penny. I thought I have told you to cultivate the habit of listening to news. He has already added four months to ensure good preparation for the next election. Uh, and when will they take his son to court? Well, I don't know. Even the, Senate, the former Senate president has not been someone yet. I just hope they are not trying to do anything stupid. Stupid? Like what? We're listening him, of course. No way. They are still investigating to affirm those involved. Even their party shaman has been arrested. I told you, the wind of change is already blowing in this nation. Well, I for one, I'm no longer interested in politics. From the death of the president to the discovery of the perpetrators who are now in custody. Today, we shall be swearing in the new Senate president, the new vice president, and the president of the republic. Thank you. Anyways, the other day the vice president tried to see me. I told my bodyguard to tell him I'm sleeping. As for the swearing in, I don't think I'll be going. Although I already have three access cards. Um, you may want to go with Aniola. Really? 
to the Lion Square. Yeah. Today, yes. I would love to go. <laughs> you don't want to go? It will do you a lot of good to face those fears, those things holding you back. You told me that the Vice President is a good man. And I know you would love to see him succeed your father. Yes, Auntie Cherish, please come with us. I'm sure it will make you feel better. Mm. Mm. Uh -huh. Before I forget, Mommy called and asked me to tell you that Auntie Joyce wants to see you and her. What was that? You and, and who? I just relayed a message. Delivered. Naughty girl. So, Cherish, will you still go? I don't think so. I don't want to... I don't want to cry or have anything that will make me think about my father. I don't... I don't... I don't think so. It's okay. Oh, guys, I'm so, so, so sorry for coming late. I'm very sorry. It's the usual crazy traffic, plus my phone is dead. So, Kala, could you please charge my phone? Please. Oh, sure. Ellie, get me that phone. Well, apologies accepted. <laughs> What's up now? <laughs> I'm just chilling, keeping my head up, you mm. know. Just, um, it's so okay. Who is this beautiful dancer singing? Mm. I'm sure she's color sister. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Eniola, meet my best friend, Oluchi. Uh -huh. Oluchi, Eniola, color sister. Nice to meet wow. you. Kola, you have such a very beautiful sister. I know. Thank you. you know what? I'm going to introduce you to my younger brother. I <laughs> hope you would like him. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Why did I think of that? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> but there's no problem about that. If provided you can pay. Kola. Uh, uh, <laughs> in fact, from this moment, you have become my enemy. <laughs> <laughs> so, Prince. Oh what is on ground? Grab your copy. As you now. Go. <laughs> hey, hey. What okay, do you think now. of the house? Ah. Honestly, honestly, I, well, 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 isn't it good to move with the president's daughter? Oh, come on. <laughs> no, but really, mommy just decided to set him up. Wow. You know, after all, he's really, really, really been of help to us, right? Wow. Yes. <laughs> Baby, you see what happened today? Hmm. Don't worry, I'll get you Of back. course. <laughs> <laughs> Today is one of celebration for all citizens of the United Africa Republic because after two months of investigations, the vice president is being sworn in as president. Dignitaries from all around the world are in attendance. Our international correspondent, Jeremy Smith, is there to give you the details. Interesting. I won't miss this for a rapture, you know. Oh, come on, take your drink. No, 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 no. <laughs> I can take the drink that about this. I won't miss it oh, for a rapture, girl. <laughs> oh, you seem to be knowing so much about the Bible. <laughs> I'm growing! I hope you're not giving that out. I mean. By the power vested on me, as. Ladies and gentlemen, please remain seated. May I crave your indulgence to please keep seated and remain calm. We are sorry for this interruption and I promise that will not repeat itself. This is to notify the security officers in charge. Please ensure that this kind of interruption does not repeat itself. Chief Judge, you may proceed, sir. By the powers vested on me as the chief judge of this nation, I now pronounce you. Excellent. 
I'm trying now, I'm trying. Oh, sorry we really delayed you. It's alright, it's alright, it's alright, it's alright. How you doing, madam? I'm good, thank you. Sorry. Oh, it's, good, it's good that you survived this madness in Nigeria, this whole political mayhem. Seriously, you know I told you I am not interested in politics. There he goes. Yes, I... I'm so serious with it. I am not interested in politics with the way they are doing the whole thing. Mm. It's a dirty game. Well, it's good to know that you're, you're okay. I'm talking about Thank okay. you. You look good, madam. Thank you. Huh? Wow. <laughs> Amazing. Thank you. She has really changed, right? Yeah, you've really changed. Well, what do you expect after the twin girls and the younger brother that followed? Mm -hmm. Well, it's been a battle with fat, but of course I'm still... Right, and take care of this man. <laughs> Uh, sorry for your time, sorry for the delay. It's, 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 yeah. it's, it's, okay. it's okay. Thank you, Your Excellency. Ah, Your the Holy Spirit made me understand that you still have some things to settle with me. Like secret things. And that you've seen the reflection of that while you were taken into the forest, like King Nebuchadnezzar. Hmm. Voila. I did not understand anything until I had that Nebuchadnezzar experience. Hmm. Hmm. If I say it, I'll die. Voila, please, if you love me, forget this. Let's forget it. Your Excellency, why should you be afraid of death and the devil instead of God? God is much more powerful than any cult of fraternity. If only you can trust him, I mean he, who protected you from being blown off by your enemies and restored you back to your throne. Shouldn't you trust him? If you do his will, and you die. No matter how bad your past may be, you are sure of a glorious eternity. Your Excellency, silence that spirit of fear now in the name of Jesus. Your Excellency, do you know you are insulting God by being scared of the devil? That means you regard the devil and his rule than God and his spirits. Ooh. 
Your Excellency, think of the benefit that you stand to gain if you trust God. Ah, if you think I am too small for you to share it with, there are some genuine men of God in Africa. Pastors like Pastor E. Adeboe, W. F. Kumi, Diki Ulukoya, Mensa Otabio. Any of these fathers can be contacted for you. In fact, Your Excellency, if you allow the Holy Spirit to guide you and your decisions, this nation will flow with prosperity because you are the leader. And lots of natural resources will be given to this nation as a result of repentance. And it will also guide your management skills. You can make any of these fathers your counselor. You can even organize prayers with them. Not just for them to pray for you, but for all of you to pray together for this nation so that our nation will move forward. And this, sir, don't just go to any pastor to pray for you, but just the few that believe and walk in holiness and humility. Your Excellency, are you now ready for Jesus? When I was coming into politics, I was taken to a place by the fathers in politics. I was given a soup to eat which I did. Not until I got to that village, I knew that the soup I was actually given to eat was the flesh of my son. I never told my wife. We prayed together for him to get healed. Oh God. <laughs> Just listen. Just listen. I give glory to God who delivered me from the shadow of death. Let all leaders and presidents in the whole of Africa know that when they leave this world, for the world beyond, they face the judgment of the one who granted them the privilege to serve as leaders of his people, God. Just as I had lost my memory, and couldn't remember whether I was rich or poor, the same will happen to every one of us. No matter the height of influence you attain here or not, at death you will leave behind all that you have acquired. It will be like they never existed. You'll stand before God to account for what you did with the resources of this earth. My food for thought for you today is what will you tell God when you see him on Judgment Day? Citizens of this beloved country and leaders of nations, listen to me right now. Let us first learn contentment in all our endeavors. For contentment will keep away strife, envy, greed for power and ill-gotten wealth. Each man should seek the good not just for himself, but also for his neighbor. And God, in his great mercy, will ensure that this nation one day becomes one of the greatest in the world. So today, we all should embrace the lesson from the Americans and join hands to say, 
God bless Africa. God bless Africa. God bless Nigeria. God bless Ghana. God bless Zimbabwe. God bless South Africa. God bless Liberia. God bless Tanzania. God bless Tunisia. God bless Egypt. God bless Africa. I've been working through the journey What I've been for one and was What a lonely life Without a friend No one to lean on When you're tired on the way And there is all the light In the light of the man too glorious to see He won't smile again He said could he be my friend And then he joined him with me Oh, 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 what a sweet journey With a companion With the Holy Spirit Oh, oh, what a sweet journey With a what a sweet Blessed Holy Spirit, oh, oh, what a sweet journey. Blessed Holy Spirit, you are there for me. No more pain anymore. You are my king. You answer the fire with the bosom Babylon. I see through your life No more darkness on my way Thank you very much You've been a wonderful God is a faithful God. If you've never met Him, you are dejected or you feel rejected. He's a faithful God. Give Him a try. I bet it with you, you'll never regret it. Because it's the Lord. It's not the Son of Man that He should lie, nor the Son of Man that He should repent. <laughs>